Hi, my name is Joy McDonnell, and I'm gonna give you five tips for sewing with denim. Tip number one, pick the proper weight of your denim. Denim is very popular to sew with. Selecting the right denim for your sewing machine is very important. Home sewing machines can accommodate light to mid-weight denim very nicely. Heavier weight denims are best sewn with industrial machines. As you're choosing your denim, feel the weight of the fabric and choose the weight that is best for your machine. Tip number two, pre-wash your denim. Washing your denim will make it softer and easier to work with. Denim has a lot of color in it, so you want to wash it several times to get rid of all that excess color and to avoid any transfer of color in the future. Denim also tends to shrink, so you want to make sure that you pre-wash the denim so that you don't spend a lot of time sewing a garment only to have it shrink after the first time you wash it. Finishing the edges with an overcasting stitch or a zigzag stitch will reduce fraying. Tip number three, cut your denim with sharp tools. Use sharp tools when cutting denim. Put a fresh blade into your rotary cutter and sharpen your scissors before you begin your project. If you use sharp tools when cutting, you can reduce the amount of fraying with a clean, sharp cut. If your pins are bending too much, look for stronger pins like these that can hold up to the weight of the fabric. Having sharp tools will help cut through several layers of fabric at one time. As you sew with denim, try to reduce the bulk in the seams and trim your seam allowances whenever possible. Tip number four, you need the right stuff at the sewing machine. Thread, presser foot, pins, and your proper needles. There are some choices you will need to make about your machine needle, your thread, and your presser foot. Practice sewing with a swatch of fabric first to test and make the right adjustments. You will need a jean sewing machine needle. This type of needle has a sharp point and a modified shaft to sew without pushing the fabric down into the needle plate hole. This type of needle will go through denim nicely and will make a difference in your sewing. Denim thread or heavy duty thread are great choices for top stitching. An all purpose polyester thread is also a great choice for sewing seams with denim. A longer stitch length will usually be necessary. Setting your machine length to three to four millimeters should do the trick. Take your time and sew slowly and hold the fabric firmly as you feed it through the machine. Don't try to pull or push the fabric. As you approach thick seams, you might need to use your hand wheel. A jig will help you easily over any thick seam. You can use a folded piece of denim to slide behind the foot so that you can sew smoothly through the seam. A plastic genima jig is also available at your local sewing shop. Simply slide it behind your presser foot, stitch along your seam, lift your presser foot, and slide the tool to the front of your presser foot. As you start to stitch, the foot will lift over the plastic piece and then you can slide it away to finish your seam. Having a good presser foot will also make sewing with denim easier. This is a walking foot. It's a little unusual, but it will move with the needle and it'll create feed dogs that feed from the top as well as the bottom, which moves denim nicely through your machine. A universal or Teflon coated foot is also a good option. Tip number five, how to make a nice flat felled seam. Take a look at your ready-made jeans. On the outside of the garment, there's a pair of stitch lines and on the inside of the garment, it is all clean and tidy without any raw edges. This is called a flat fell seam and I'm going to show you how to make it. Pin the fabric of the seam together with the wrong sides facing. Then sew the seam with a 5 8 inch seam allowance. Press the seam open on both sides of the fabric. Be sure to set your iron for your type of denim. Push the seam to one side and hold it flat with your hand. Then turn it and push the seam to the other side. Using your hand will help absorb some of the heat and will get you a nice flat seam. Trim one side of the seam allowance down to one quarter of an inch. Do not trim the other side. Give the seam one more press. Then you're going to fold the untrimmed seam allowance edge towards the trimmed one and give it a press so that you are creating a nice finished folded edge. Then you're going to fold your seam allowance over and press it into place. This may take a few presses depending on the heat of your iron. Use your hand to pat the press into place. Pin the seam in place 
and then you will be ready to do all of your top stitching right along the edge of that fold. Use your presser foot as a guide as you stitch at the machine. Now you can see how the top stitching is right along the edge of that fold and the inside of our seam is nice and tidy, no raw edges. If we go back and look at the seam, you'll see that I originally stitched with a red thread. That's our original stitch and it still shows, so make sure you're choosing the right thread for that stitch and then a beautiful top stitching. Thank you for watching. I hope all of these tips help you when you sew your next denim project. Let us know what you think about this video by leaving a comment below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Feel free to give us your ideas for our next video. Like us on Facebook. Be sure to check us out on Instagram. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel.